Hello everybody and welcome back to Airport CEO where we are uh, we're, we're in the last episode we built a toilet and we learned that the CEO does not dry his hands even though there are dryers available um, yeah no um, what we did learn though is that we are ready to start building um, a, a full-on thriving regional airport an airport that's going to make money um, and is going to is going to work um, unlike anything else right now because of a certain pandemic which we can't name on the show because YouTube won't like it so let's start building um, as you can see this is what it should look like green arrow in you go red arrow buy that's basically how airports work so um, the first thing it wants is to place two check-in desks now we've sort of come up with an idea here and we're gonna have a door here that opens up to the check-in desks, which will be here, which I think is quite a nice little idea. So, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see it working in principle, uh, whether it actually works, I don't know. So, uh, we can have information desks as well, but we're gonna have it, we're gonna start with check-in desks, they're more cool. um, So, they're this way around, and then you have conveyor belt systems there, so we'll, we'll put them, I think, two away, because then we can have an, uh, then we can have here, just like, just below it, we can have um, the downwards escalator thingy-majiggy for the for the baggage when we eventually unlock that. So we'll start with two there, I think. I think can we put a? There's a potential we could put two. There's a potential we can get five in here. Ah, oh, not quite. Nearly. Ah, oh, the room's not quite long enough. We can we can change that if we need to. Um, or we could just put in a four there two more there but we only need two for now so we're gonna just build two people just build two uh, what we are gonna do though is we want these to be roomed off because um, I don't want problems <laughs> I don't want I don't want people just walking around so um, we're gonna build a wall like um, here and then we're gonna build a wall along here for now and down there and then, actually, it's a bit inconveniently. We might be okay, actually. Do that, do that, just get that. And before they start building those things, gates, can we move the check-in desk and actually put it one in here? And one in there. And then, we'll the wall down here and then across like that. And then a door. We thought about this. A door in here. And then we can make all this staff area. Because we want it all staff area, really. And that makes good sense. And then that way, then we can actually we can use some of this green uh, this green carpet. I don't know colours. Um, we, <laughs> we can use some of this dull ass colour along there and it'll look quite nice look at that so now the staff have this rather cool thing so and we can ro I might rotate the camera just to make life a little bit easier um, but that's what it looks like from this way around which which is quite nice um, so yes we've got some check-in desks here and it looks pretty respectable and pretty pretty well built at the minute I didn't need the wall to come all the way out here, but oh well, it is there now, so we'll leave it for a minute. Um, uh, the runway's almost broken. Oh, okay. We'll pet that. Three thousand pounds. No, we're not spending enough money already. Now, um, zone a suitable part of the terminal as secure. Make sure the check-in desks are not inside the secure zone. So the check-in desks will start off here, um, and all of this here can pretty much be secure. We're going to need it to be anyway. Um, so to do that we go here and here and we'll make I don't want to make all of them secure, we don't need to really if we make uh, goes to 20 as secure I suppose for now and then we'll rotate this a little bit and we'll have security here um, I suppose they can come and like, start here with the security. Um, uh, hmm, hmm. 
Indeed. How big are the security checkpoints, I suppose, is the question. So they have to be like that. So we can have them... Have them along here, I suppose, to go into that section. So we'll want the secure zone from here, from here, from here. Go from there and we'll make them secure. That's fine. So then what we'll do, security checkpoint, uh, we'll put... There, there, there. Let's we'll start with three. One of them will be our staff security checkpoint at this time. And then what we'll do is um, we're not going to build the exit next to it because I don't like that idea. What we will do though is build this wall here. I've changed my mind. Build the wall to there, I think. Build it to there. that to there and that to there for now and then we can build all this pretty much religiously down here um, and then what we'll do is the exit security exit uh, we'll put it there and then we'll build another little bit of wall in there uh, the exit's there for now and we'll we'll worry about how it actually logistically all works afterwards um, because we will need um, a slidey door um, so we'll put a slidey door up here for now and then this is going to be where you go into the slidey door it's not ideal because we've not got a lot of room for shops and stuff yet and um, I didn't really think about that <laughs> you don't need all this space for people checking in um, as the airport grows we might do um, but these guys now will build, build, build which is good news Ooh, don't know what I'm doing right. Airports all right, all right. Let's go to now look at the aircraft and gating up these three. So what we want to do with these three is we want to change them to commercial stands. Um, just so they'll be free in a minute when these, these three will eventually leave and they will be commercial stands. And then what we want to do is we're going to get in some Boarding desks, I think, is the right term. There we go, boarding desks. And um, I quite like the idea of the boarding desks. Some people put them in different places. I like the idea of the boarding desks sort of being um, like around a corner, slightly. So, um, you know, people have them here, so they're right in front of the gate and stuff. Um, I like them sort of here, to the side. Um, I don't know, really overly know why, I just quite like it so we're going to put them there um, and that's what we're going to do and then what we're going to do is uh, we want to also put in a few measures so these are um, uh, TVs that display flight information I suppose so we can put them there and there um, and then we're going to put them um, sort of there and five away, so there, just for now, that sort of makes a little bit more sense that they're there. Then what we need is some seating, um, so we'll get that in, we'll speed up the time a little bit so we can hurry things along, and what's that? Oh crap, okay, so, uh, can we turn, Now we can change that. That's fine. We need to wait for these planes to sort of leave, which is hours away. Well, he leaves actually more shortly. Okay. So now we can switch him to commercial planes. I think. Yes, brilliant. And then when he leaves, we can switch him. And that's fine, we'll do that now. So what we need now is doors, because let's be honest, they're going to have trouble passing through the wall. So if we go... That very very nice. So large doors, super large doors, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build um, another wall, and this is going to be, seem weird. The wall's going to come across like that. 
Can you go there? You can. Nice. And we've sort of planned that quite nicely, actually. And then what we do is we're going to get some chairs, some seating, and we're going to put just some generic. Could have just got the large chairs. <laughs> They're cheaper as well. <laughs> what an idiot. Um, there we go, three there. And we can do something a little bit different here and just turn it maybe just because of the convenience level. Probably could have done that for this. Um, in fact, I'm going to still do this. Oh well. So it comes to about two section there, isn't it? Yeah, two section there, two section there. It just, it might work, I, I suppose it does a little bit. Um, so that's fine. Now we've got to click on each desk and connect it to the stand that it's going to be connected to. Nicely, nicely. This plane is going to leave in a minute, isn't it? No, well, soon. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to accept commercial flights. Um, and we won't stop general aviation, but there we go. We will. We will soon. I think. I think we can. I don't want to dismiss him, but we're going to change him to commercial flights as well, because I think he can take off. From there now. We're going to connect that stand. I think that shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So um, the new staff room looks really nice, but it seems empty. It does, well. It, it, it's not now. <laughs> Um, uh, but we need some staff, so let's hire some friendly staff for your airport. We need to hire four passenger service agents that will take care of checking and boarding. Okay, great. Uh, what I do want to do is change this one to not accept passengers. It just allows for easiness of, of people going through security. So we'll do that. And we'll do the queues in a minute. Oh, actually, I want to build the queues now. Let's, um, we'll do it in a minute. Let's go staff, or let's go hire, let's go to, was it passenger service agent? It was. And let's choose your nine pounds, your nine pounds, your six pounds. Oh, you came in at the last minute. Good job, girl. And do we hire Peter or do we hire Magda? Let's hire you both. You can both be part of the dream. Um, so we've hired them now and that's good. Now what we want to do is we need to do some cues. So we're going to build a queue, and we're going to come in uh, here. We'll just do this, I suppose. I think it's there. Look at that! Excellent queue building, and we'll do this thing here, I suppose. Look at that! Superb queue building. Um, and now we, and, and, and now it just has some order to it. Security is a little bit different. Um, so there, I suppose. Yeah, works for me. And then we'll do the same. Oh, oh, oh we've zigzagged the other way. How dare we do good thing again? stuff. So security will be relatively busy. Uh, staff really don't need this wiggly line of life, but they're getting it. I don't care. Um, and look at this. Look, there come our staff. That's, that's sort of a cheeky way. I'd rather you go through the staff room, you waste of space. Um, but yes, now we need to hire four security officers. So, security officer. Um, uh, why is that? We'll hire you and you. and uh, You're too expensive. And you are too expensive. Can we get another one in? Come on! Oh, I should have probably hired the ones that were there. Oh my word! Tobias! Oh, you're so expensive, Tobias. Is, there, is it going to be anyone else? Yes! Ahmed! <laughs> we're going to hire you, Ahmed, because Tobias is expensive. Um, and then four ramp agents. Now, ramp agents are really important. Um, like, super duper important. Um, they're just really important. And, and Anders is a really good ramp agent, but a lot cheaper than Joseph. Um, 
and he's quite young, so we're going to hire you forever. Um, and Joseph, I'm not going to hire you. Um, so we've got our four rampages. We will need to hire more. Um, four for three st um, stands isn't that much. Um, and then we just need to wait um, for the stuff to arrive via public transport. Good effort. Um, I hope we're not paying for that. I hope that that's their expense. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to enable ramp service uh, agent ground enabled. There we go. I think we've got to be close to being ready, surely. Yes! We can now accept our first commercial flight. I was burping mid-sentence. And greet some passengers. First off, we need to sign a master contract with an airline. Then the airline will offer flights that we can schedule in our flight plan. I have got mods on, so we will see some real flight companies. Some that will probably no longer be with us. Um, after this pandemic, we're calling it a pandemic, that's what it is. Um, so let's schedule our first flight. So accept an airline, so that's economy, offered contracts, and let's go to airlines. And um, some of these are in-game. Um, Lufthansa, for instance, isn't. I know that's a real airline. Um, very much so, but... Um, CLM I know is in game, Skylink's in game, Maple. So in fact, you know, some of these aren't at all real. Um, but Lufthansa's very, very much. Let's have a look at Lufthansa. No, they're not. They're offering us mostly larger aircraft. We want to offer one that's sort of, in a weird way, not exclusively small, but has a lot of small aircraft. Appearing quite very, very small. This might be a real airline, actually. This one. Um, but a very, very small fleet. They only have one plane. So let's. Uh, Skylink are pretty good. They've got two types of small aircraft that they use. So I think we'll get them. You want to hire a couple. Um, and ideally, you want them to have two or three small planes. Stripe Air is always a good one. Let's go with Stripe. And let's go with Goose Wings. Let's go with. And tempted with maple because they have a lot of medium aircraft. Yeah, we'll go maple as well. We're going to have four airlines. We're going to have big go home, one or the other. Um, let's have a look at. Um, yeah, so we're good. Now we can open our flight planner, so we can press F because I know it's there. And we have three stats. That's good. So where can we schedule our very first flight? Now Goose Wings um, can exclusive. You can exclusively set these stands to only be one thing. But because we only have three, and we're four airlines, and we don't want to do that necessarily, um, we've got to be a little bit careful, I suppose. And we want to get as many flights booked in as possible. So Goose Wings. Uh, so let's get the single flights in first. It's really important. So. Our first flight is likely to be at 10 past 11, the Goose Wings flight. And then this one here, it, you get five flights, basically, over five days. So we might not want to do that straight away. Um, we might want to hold off. Get Book this Mabel, Maple flight in. Again, it can come in uh, slightly after, I suppose. There. Yeah, I suppose it can. Um, and then Skylink also can come in here. That'll do. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Um, the other airline we use is Stripe Air and they've got a couple of solo planes. So we're going to actually stick them in um, one after the other on Goose Wings flights. And then what we'll do on Thursday is that Goose Wing Five Flighter can be the five o'clock and then it will never move. So it'll be in there for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday um, and then Tuesday it'll be gone. But yeah, um, so it'll, it'll, it gives us a bit more flexibility on that. Um, what we'll do on the flip side, um, and we'll, maybe this will be Maple Stand. So we can probably make this Maple Stand now. So only Maple Airlines. And the reason that you do that is when you use Auto Planner, which you can start using when you have a COO and CIO, you can, they'll know to only book Maple here. And it'll keep the relationship quite strong with the with the guys. What we'll do is we'll, we'll make sure that this is the final flight of the day. So there. And that way then we like we can back up going backwards. So with Goose Wings we can go forwards, with Maples we can go backwards. Now and um, that's fine. So Maple have got its own stand. Uh, let's have a look. Skylink have actually given us more flights which is a bit frustrating because I've just given Maple their own stand. So let's give Skylink um, again their last flight to be. We can go here with that. Um, so that's fine. So this might be their permanent stand, and there's one in the middle there. We can just put them there. 
Look at that. Beautiful. We won't book those two flights yet. Um, and no one else has got any more flights for us. But what's exciting is, is we've nearly filled. And Thursday we're already looking pretty banging. In fact, what I will do is I will get um, these Skylink flights in. Not at five. It can land there. That's not a problem at all. Um, there is a solo Skylink flight, which we might get in on Wednesday in the Maple. Balls. Uh, maybe the Maple will give us another flight. Maybe not. Maybe we won't make this Maple only yet. We will eventually. <laughs> but right now, um, it makes lots of sense. So, uh, yeah, we can close that. Um, so that Skylink flight, let's get that um, out. So then at least we've got nine flights going out today. And that's quite a lot of money. So it puts us in a good position um, heading into Thursday. Ideally, by the time these three planes have gone, we'll have more flights to be able to book. And you, all you do is you click here, you'll see the little green flashy thing, and it'll tell you that more flights are available. So that's the plan. Um, passengers are arriving in our airport. Welcome to International r and Airport. This is really exciting. And they're all checking in. Look at this. These guys are open for that Pamlona. All for the same thing. He needs a toilet, um, which is going to find very, very upsetting that we don't have one here. Um, so we're going to need to put in a toilet. Um, I'm going to keep the game running um, whilst we do this, because it is quite an important moment of um, a person's life going to the toilet. So um, what we'll do is we'll make that a... F Should we put it here? This deep? Yeah, let's go this deep. We'll do that, and we'll do that. Here is why. So, um, firstly, let's put a door in. Uh, so we can go door here, door there, I suppose. And then what we can do is build our toilets. So make these bathrooms, one here and one here. And then we are going to have this one as the male's bathroom. Um, why not? Here, why not? Have some of your aisles. One, two, three. Why not? And then uh, we'll have some sinks. Three sinks, I suppose. Not as many people dry their hands, so which which my CEO made abundantly clear he doesn't. Um, and then we'll put those in. And we'll repeat that there, I suppose. Put some more sinks in. There we go. And then this is the ladies. So they're a bit cleaner than the men's. So we're going to have a ladies and a men's urinal. And we're going to make them... What do we use? These ones. These tiles this time. One. Do that. Do that. Lovely stuff. And this one's going to be open. And it's going to be for males only. And this one is going to be for females. We can't open the room yet. Now I can. And there we go. So our passengers now. Oh wow! Look, oh, they contract us. Oh, yeah. So I think this is the Goose Wings flight. So this is—is is this our first flight? It most certainly is. And the Maple flight's due to land any minute. So that's general aviation. Here it is. So our first two flights. We're going to play the wrong way. Our first two flights have landed. Uh, we got no janitors. Oh crap. That's not good. Okay, we, we probably need a janitor or two. Let's go to staff. Let's go to add a janitor. Nice. And we'll hire two. The two cheapest ones. Um, not the two cheapest, ones. Um, a bit upset you can't make cues out of these, but I'll worry about that one day, I suppose. Um, what else? You can relocate them. Um, but as you can see, this is really good. All three planes have landed. And we are benefiting now from passenger flight stuff, which is good. Um, this one here um, has done its service round and it's boarding. It's only boarding two passengers. Um, he's using the maple. Nice. But yeah, um, on the whole, this is looking pretty good. Um, the only concern would be maybe that we don't have enough but then they're not really doing anything, they're here. Um, oh, he's a janitor. 
don't put you in the same bracket. You, you're a security guy. Yeah. Oh, they're all there. And I only have four. So I'm hoping... When does this need to take off? This is the Goose Wings one up. Uh, it probably doesn't need to do anything. We've got new flights though, so we should book these in for Thursday and make sure that we've got Thursday sorted and wrapped up. So Maple, we said that the middle one's going to be there, so that's brilliant. We can put in this one here, this flight here, and go there, and we can put in this one here as well. Get as many crammed in as possible. Look at that, Maple stand starting to take shape. Goose Wings is also, oh look at that, a six flighter. Nice, we'll take that, and we'll take another Goose Wing as well. Board. Absolutely. Skylink have got a few, so oh that's a fiver. We might need to get another stand in here actually, just to uh, can't quite get him in. And maybe we can um, reschedule this one. As far across there as we can. And maybe now I can get that six in. No, not quite. You can get five in. Can we move you up at all? Yeah, but the landing roughly the same time as that one. Squeeze you in? No, not quite. Hmm. I thought you could get five in. Maybe not. Maybe you can't. Um, uh, there might be a bit of a gap in the sky, which is maybe more frustrating than I need it to be. Maybe we can reschedule the flight to. No, we can only go over there. And if I reschedule you. Oh, you can go across it a bit more, so. Might be a few flights to take it. Oh, he still coming in. Ah, oh, it's because possibly he's still there, and it's a six flight. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, that's okay. We'll probably what we'll do is we'll just get some. Of this. Oh, that maple flight there could probably. Can't actually sit and talk. So, uh, stripe have a few as well, so we'll, we'll just fill up this a little bit more. Even though this is goose wings, we'll give stripe a few more. No, that's about it. Okay, well, we'll worry about that. Uh, we'll just build up the relationship with those guys right now, and what we'll probably end up doing um, is. Can we? Yes, look at this. Boom. Oh, bollocks. Uh, I was hoping that. They weren't going to get taken out in this one. But he clearly has been, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but what we can do, um, we have a bit of money, we have a million pounds, and look how much money we're making. Wonderful moolah, four grand. Nice. And the janitor clearly isn't doing their job, which isn't good. Um, so we have a male toilet, uh, and a female toilet. Nice, that's going well. And there's passenger and staff, so just in case they need a quick bog, they can quickly run. Oh, look, so she's washed her hands. Not to use the hand dryers. What is their, what is, the, they're Dyson ones. Have you seen the quality? They're the ones you put your hands in. They're like literally Dyson ones, and you refuse to use them. God, you fussy, fussy, fussy pants. Um, so <laughs> what we'll do is we will um, expand our terminal slightly. So um, we want it to come up to this one now, which is good. And we're going to put it there good times. What we'll do is we'll destroy this wall, try not to let any terrorists in, and we will <laughs> we will build um, our doors here and here to open two more stands. This is exciting. Hear me out. Um, and then we'll, is it four down? Yeah. And then an additional six across. Something like that. Works for me. Four down, six across. Brilliant. There we go. Lovely stuff. So, excellent work. We are going to really be full of it here in our airport. We'll make it all secure so we have no issues moving forward. And yeah, there we go. No real issue there. They'll get on with cracking on building this jazz. We'll put in another uh, boarding desk. Nice stuff. Uh, we can grab 
grab that and we can put it in the same place as there. And there. We might change this, they might come a bit further out. I think we've got this silly there actually. Um, so we might change that, I suppose. And then what we also need to do is we can grab this, put it there and there, and then it's looking pretty good. We're in a good position. We'll want to do the flooring and I might do that off screen. Who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll come back to a beautiful looking airport in the next episode. Anything is possible. Then what we need to do is connect that stand. And we want to connect this stand. And these should no longer accept general aviation flights. Um, and they should only accept the ones we want them to. Um, and that's pretty exciting. Um, so that's good. So now when we open our flight planner, we have more. I don't think I can get any more tonight. No, gosh darn it. Oh, so unlucky, but Thursday's looking juicy. Um, I don't know why I'm scheduling more Goosewings flights. Just schedule them in. Um, we'll reschedule your flight. You're now coming in in the morning, pal. Um, because this is going to be the stripe section. Look at this. It's looking good. And then actually we can... So, we'll leave that there. We're, the goose wings can take over that top one a little bit more. Uh, Maple, we've got a. Oh, we can't actually put a flight in for you there, can we? <laughs> um, the Skylink, we can. We can definitely milk some Skylinks there. We won't book them all in yet because things might change. So we'll book in all the singular flights, I suppose. Um, just so this is a mixed bag one anyway. So. Lovely. We might start doing night flights. I, I'm not overly keen on it right now. And what we should probably be doing is utilizing our RD projects because we genuinely haven't got this going at all yet. Uh, what we want to do is be researching Jet 1A fuel, most certainly. In fact, I've completely forgot that. We, oh, there we go. We literally did the regional airport one dead on time, um, which couldn't be. Turn around another five flight one? What would I did five? That's just rude. Um, okay, maybe it wants me to do more. I, I don't know. Um, Alright, well we have only done three. So this should be our fifth flight leaving. There we go, we did it! Yes! Fantastic! An objective complete. We have done it. We've opened five commercial stands now as well, so really impressively we've got more of the airport open. We'll probably need to hire more staff, and we've only got three of these left. So what we can actually do uh, with this, um, with this truck anyway, is we can end up selling the vehicle. And I'm going to do that. £22,000 we got for this. Really? It seems like an looks... And he's going to fill that up for me. And he's leaving now. He's very upset. He's very sad. He's left. He no longer works for the company. Bye. I fired you. Anyway, um, that's the end of the episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, in the next episode, um, who knows? The sky's the limit. We might have medium planes. We might have a bigger airport. And this might actually be decorated. Because I might do it off screen. Um, and look at how much money we've got. How have we got two million pounds? Oh, it wants us to buy land. We will do that in the next episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the flippity flip. Fun times. Goodbye.